We, the students of the St. Louis Public School System, would like to welcome the press to our meeting that we have called today. We would just like to say that we really appreciate your attendance with us here today. We stand before you as students and also young adults who have shown great concern to the matter at hand before you. We have all come together from a, as a whole from different schools and uh, areas of the city. Today we are holding a press conference to address the success that we have achieved since we have been, began our sitting at City Hall on Wednesday, March 14th. We will present the following items. One, video statement of how we got to this place. Next, we will cover the personal stories. Then we will de de deconstruct the myths and misstatements that have been told about us and why we are here. And finally, we will tell you what remains to be done. And again, we thank you for your time. Good afternoon. My name is Donovan Harris, D-O-N-A-V-A-N, H-A-R-R-I-S. I am head of video and audio, and I'm going to let you guys um, see some video and audio. It started with word going around to the students that the state was trying to take over the St. Louis Public Schools and that accreditation will be taken away. With seniors worried about colleges and scholarships and underclassmen trying to understand more of the situation, actions began to be taken by the people who will be affected the most, the students. Students of the city of St. Louis public schools are opposed to this uh, takeover, and we're not going to put up with it. We have a list of demands that um, we want him to see through, mm -hmm. and we're not leaving until he completes them. You're not leaving? You plan to stay here for a while? Yes, I plan to stay here a while. Oh. Well, now, what is it that uh, you think is going to, how are you going to be impacted if, in fact, the, uh, the accreditation issue or the takeover goes through? If uh, accreditation is lost for the St. Louis Public Schools, I will not be in accepted into the college of my choice. I may have to go to a, a community college for a year or take my GED test. Meetings began about two weeks ago with public school students and other supporters to organize a way to get our voices heard by the public. As time progressed, a sit-in was established. Student representatives came down to the mayor's office in City Hall. decision up to Mayor Slay or up to the state? It's up to, it's up to the state, but Mayor Slay, it, uh, he's been advocating. That would be like, uh, the decision would be up to the judge, but Mayor Slay gets all the money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sir. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> what money? What money is he making? Well, if you look at the Denmark report, it says in the first year that they'll cut almost $30 million from our budget. Uh, cut, uh, they paid, I think, 23 million for Comfort's Academy, and they want to cut 23 million. So you may know where that money's going. Okay. Yes. Uh, you do the math. Do the math. Do the math. Do the math. They told me, because I guess they're not really educated about what's going on with us, so they told me that as far as the seniors, we won't be affected by the takeover and losing accreditation. Mm -hmm. But the students following us, class of 2008, 2009, 2010, so on and so forth, will lose everything they worked hard for. So They told you that? Yes, they told me this. I talked to them personally. I talked to Mr. Allen Bird, 
and I talked to the representative of admissions at the University of Missouri St. Louis. I would not lie to anybody. I know, because I don't only care about myself. People like him are going to be affected eventually by this mistake. It's crazy, and it's, it's, it's bad on them. Like, why would you do this to us? This is ridiculous. So, I have first-hand proof that you can call them yourself. They told me, Maya LaCosta May Taylor, that they will take away the class of 2008, 2009, class of 2010, and so on and so forth. They won't be able to get sent to colleges regardless of how hard they work up till now while we've had accreditation. I've been very polite to you, sir. You and me too. I've been well, all night babysitting. Well, I haven't been babysitting, sir. That's no problem. Charter, they are public schools. Charter, they are charter schools. No, they are not. They are public schools. Yes, they are. So, if anybody wants to come back, if you want to come back, you can have the mayor's number. Okay, I understand. Number one. Thanks. You have the mayor's number? Can you buzz me? You have the mayor's number? I'm happy to meet with you. How about, how about I didn't you ask call that. Francis Slay to meet with them? You just ignored me? Can you do that, Robin? So she shuts the door in high school children's faces. Stop democracy, this democracy is what we need. Please, let it be. Democracy Very is who we win. Is there any way I can help? If there is no way I can help, I go, go right back on. And tell Mayor you know, Slade to stop this to stop uh, stealing this. of the St. Louis Public School and destroying our schools on purpose. Right. That's how you're going to do that. Okay, okay. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, wait a minute, oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. You said if there's something that you can do to help, then you'll be willing to do it. But wait a minute, but wait, even before we get to that, what we've asked you to do numerous times uh -huh. is to leave. Okay, then. Okay, and you have not left. Okay, well, and, and, and you were not invited in because people that were here and yes. were part of this yes, and were yes. not part of Francis yes. Slay, like yes. you are, yes. uh, were unable to come in. So yes. please leave. If so you've got man of the word, then please leave. Please leave. And you know what? You got I minutes. will leave because it appears that there is no. They don't need my help. Okay. Well, we thank you very much. Go tell yeah, you know. Thank, thank you. No, no, it's very simple. They don't want to do that. They don't want to do that. It's very simple. It's very simple. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'll see you later. Okay. Well, you on TV, now you on Don Juan Productions. Sure. Rosemary High School. Come on. If your choice is to be here tomorrow, then uh, I or someone else, if I can't come over, I, I've asked for a <laughs> one-page handout to kind of explain things. So, but I do uh, would appreciate if we could pass around a piece of paper now, if that's possible, so students can write down the colleges of concern that you have. Okay, fair enough? Superintendent? Yes. Would you tell them to stay or go back to school? That is up to them. That is up to them. I mean, they're missing school students, right? And, uh, there are all sorts of learning experiences that we have, and some are more powerful outside the classroom than inside. Yep. Yes, ma'am. During the second day, after a grueling first night, a meeting was held with the mayor that semi-addressed the list of ten demands that was previously received from us. He avoided eye contact and seemed nervous while indirectly answering questions that we asked him. We, we agreed to leave if three out of the ten demands were met. Uh, so that's something that they knew. I do not have any control over uh, So you don't think your opinion influences the state at all? You don't think that you have any no. say?